just wanted to share a few little easy tips I've learned since having my Mars 3 about a week. I'm new to resin printing by the way so I'm no expert just I kind of figure things out as I go along and thought I'd share a couple of these. One thing is to try and calibrate your uh, machine to your resin depending on what resin you're using. You know, I've learned to do these calibration tests and uh, they can kind of give you an idea of setting the exposure settings. And the good thing about these is they're small and thin and you print them pretty quick. So sometimes I'll be printing several of them in a row just one after the other and then checking it out to see what settings seemed like they were the best. Uh, one tip I figured out that was useful was when you're doing it keep track of what your settings were and I write them on the back after it's kind of cured out that way I have a reference of you know which test piece was what settings and then once I find one that seems like it works the best you know I make sure I write the settings and then I write the brand of resin or if it was mixed with something like here lately I've been playing around with mixing tenacious and with some of the resins because I've read about it it's supposed to add a little bit more durability to some of it so I thought I'd try it out but when you get a bunch of these it's easy to lose track of what was what so just an easy way to do it was to to write on the back of them what the settings were and then once you find find one that works the best you know make sure you keep up with it this one turned out decent But when you're doing that, this, this is clean, but I'm just going to give you an example. You're wanting to print a bunch in a row, and often this thing comes up and it's got resin all over the top of it, and you know maybe you just want to hurry up and do another print. And you want to take this off and clean it. Just to conserve your resin a little bit, if you use your plastic scraper and just run it along these edges, it's, you can scrape that resin you know, drain right back down into the vat real easy. And that'll help you save a little bit of your resin without wasting so much of it and getting your wash as dirty too. Um, this, this, it's crude, yeah, but it's effective. This was, again, some more foam that came in the Mars 3 box when I ordered it. And I saved it. It's coming useful for many things, but this i made because when i take my vat off because i kind of got in the habit of normally after each print i'll take the vat off and inspect underneath it make sure everything's okay i'll set the vat right here and that keeps it up off the table and you're less likely to get things sticking to the bottom of the fep sheet because there's you know a gap so that's that's kind of coming handy and then i'll uh talk about mixing resins here in just a moment all right for people that might be interested in mixing resins I used to mix paint when I was younger for an auto body shop and you'd mix the paint by weight to produce a certain color so I kind of learned about using weight to mix things let's say you want to take some standard beige and mix it with the tenacious kind of like what I was doing now I'm not gonna mix these right here in this video because I've already done it and I'm not just gonna make more work for myself right now I'm just gonna give an example demonstration I guess I've been saving the empty bottles this one's already been mixed it's empty again though maybe it just has a hair in it but anyways I'll save my empty bottles and then I'll rinse them out with a little bit of alcohol and let it dry. And I'll use those to mix in. Because then I got a container of it. But you put it on your scale, and turn it on, let it zero out. So that you know it zeroes out the weight of that container. And then say I wanted to mix in some beige. 
well let's say I pour in say 300 grams of beige <clears throat> and then I wanted to have like a mix ratio of 15% of tenacious added into it well that would that would say 300 grams and then I would just take take a calculator and I'll use one of my phones say it was 300 and you wanted to add 15 percent you would add in up to 345 so you would add in 45 extra grams so then you take your tenacious and add that until you hit 345 and then you know you got a 15 percent mix of what you used as a base and then add it to it and then since you had an empty bottle now you have a mix contained in that empty bottle and then you could label it which you know I had done that with gray but this is just an example so I found that is a useful way to keep up with your mix ratio and it's just something I thought I'd pass along might help some others that's about it thanks for your time